Hey guys! Welcome back to Hair Tag, Shadow of the Serpent Riders. Last time we did the glacier. I also did somewhere else. Um. Wait a minute. Uh, the wait a minute. Glacier? What the hell? Was a glacier in the catacombs? Apparently so. So this time we're heading on to the... Yeah? Glacier and catacombs. I'm confused. Yeah, because there's two different dates here. Ah, whatever. So this time we're heading on to the labyrinth. What in the hell? Oh yeah! I... I know I said I wouldn't look anything up. But my morbid curiosity got the best of me. Because you're a phony. You're a big fat phony! And so I looked up what uh, all the mace spheres are for that we've been seeing lying around. And apparently those are indeed for a weapon. The name of it is not coming to mind right now. It's for something. And I don't remember what it is. It's for something. And apparently it is supposed to be findable in in this episode. In the second episode of this game. But I have no idea where. Well, I looked on the maps and where you'd be able to normally find it. But I did not look up the location on those maps. Okay, so the yellow key is right here. Oh, got more flame orbs. Sweet. I honestly hope we can find a weapon soon. So I want to try it out. And this place got very, very interesting music. Oh, great. This place is a maze. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? <laughs> I sh I... One thing I... Well, I know I mentioned the music a few times. But one thing I'll say... I honestly do like the music in this game. Secret, come on. <laughs> Whoa, that was a literal um, flaming skull flying past the screen. Holy hell. And as you guys hear, like, this, this, especially this music here, like, this is, like, really, like, eerie and creepy as it's supposed to be. I mean, you're, you're going around as a, you're a hair tech going around fighting demons for crying out loud. So, I mean, it's not exactly going to be playing like Mario music. What, wait, what about Mario? I need to start Mayro Galaxy, like, because I don't have a Switch. I need to play Galaxy, the next best game to Odyssey, because it is. Fight me. I like Galaxy a lot. Really, all the 3D Marios aren't bad, like, fucking 64 is good, Sunshine's good, Galaxy's great. 
I haven't played Galaxy 2, but if it's just more Galaxy 1, I'd probably like it. That's what it basically is from what I've been at. It's just Galaxy 1 with more power-ups and new levels and stuff. I'm trying to get to these... Yoshi. Which oh. probably ain't as good as the Yoshi and uh, Sunshine, because in that you can make them vomit. Vomit fruit everywhere. I think. Ain't that oh, what yeah. you guys, like, keeps everywhere? Uh, the theory that... Mario punches Yoshi in the back of the head... Apparently, it's confirmed. Okay, let's be honest. You start fucking, like, analyzing Mario, you find a lot of fucked up shit. Watch any game theory about Mario. Seriously, they're all kind of fucked up. And now, like, odd, let's, okay, honestly, let's not get around it. He is now literally possessing people and then leaving them for dead. And, like, fucking killing them right after he possesses, like, it's like, it's, yeah. Mario, shit! Don't what the hell? You, you don't, you don't do it, because you just find all kinds of fucked up shit. Odyssey is probably the worst because you're literally just possessing people's bodies like some demon. Like, just all the time. Like, just don't think about it, just play it because it's fun. Galaxy's awesome. I need to play that. Let me get through that game again. Mm. A Wings of Wrath right here, that's a little unusual. Wings of Wrath. The Wings of Wrath. The Wild Wings of Wrath. The Wild, uh, Bully, Wacky Wings of Wrath. Wrath. That Waskowee Wabbit. My screen is literally red from all the... Well, basically a crowd of enemies and many shots. Uh, it's good. It's good. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to be entertaining and failing. It's a normal video. Got a green key in here. With this, I want. Oh, okay. Green. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Who's it? As the classic statement goes, don't quit. Your, don't quit your day job. I don't have a day job. This is this is the closest thing I have to a job right now. Hard. <laughs> like honestly. Yeah. Okay, so this is the where we start off with. Okay, so now we need to Wait, there's a yellow door. Blue door down this way. Green door is down the next corner. Good lord. Why would you die? I can hear you growling at me, you don't know, you cretin. 
Where the hell? Go back to hell where you belong! I don't load. Get out of here. So loud. I'm gonna head back up this way. Oh, it's on this one. Wait a minute. You guys see that there's a pass right there. Wait a minute. I'm gonna head on this way. Miss Spheres. Okay. More mace spheres, but no weapon. Weird. <coughs> apparently, that, okay, that apparently that's a door. There's the window. At least out here, okay. How the hell do I get in there? That's obviously a door. Runes, health staff ammo, sweet. Okay, wait a minute. The hell? Oh, is that the. That's the portal exit. the blue key but oh god frame right I'm still confused okay more these spheres flame orb okay we got an enchanted shield sweet wait a second I'm honestly going to be disappointed if I can't find that weapon. So, well, I really want to find that weapon. This is, as you guys see, this mace spheres literally everywhere here. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Set back out. Okay, so there's the exit right there. Okay, are we missing something in there? 
Nice. I need to examine this carefully. I was afraid of that. That was going to be the secret scrap. Here we go, do I have a surprise for you? Alright. Nice kill these idiots. Oh my god, there it is! We got it! Fire mace! Whoa! Oh, oh, okay, this is cool. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is cool. <laughs> I'm just lobbing the explosive ma maces at him. Oh, this is cool. Wait, are you throwing maces at people? Is that what is happening now? Oh, that's cool. I'm completely lost. I fucking zoned out. Oh, that's really cool. I do that a lot. Okay, um... There's some... Ammo in here. Somewhere. No, it's not this room. I want to... Uh, oh, wait. I'll go do that before we leave here. I'll go pick up some more ammo for this thing. This thing is cool. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay, there's the exit. So this is something in here. Is there something we're supposed to do? Oh. Nimrod. Oh shit. I'm gonna make you eat that. Ow! Jerk, stop throwing me around! Stop with your tornadoes. There! Eat maze, jerk! There's the gun. Okay, and there's a phoenix rod. Are we full? Yeah, we're full. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. Get some more ammo for this. So as I said, like, I read about... I read up on this thing. And... Me spheres, pile of me spheres. Okay, that that gives us. Was it the um, mace spheres themselves? They gives us third. Uh, they gives us ten, while the piles, those big ones, gives us a hundred. And supposedly this is this has less damage than the hell staff, but I don't really see a difference. This thing is kicking ass. Uh, there's a, there's a, on the, w on the wiki for this game, there's a full stat board. I don't care if I miss a couple items. Okay, now we're entering the Great Hall. Good Lord! She's a freaking Gatling gun. Oh, I love it. She got 200 shots. This game got like three different Gatling guns. It has the uh, Dragon Claw, the Hell Staff, and now this. What is the new looking right now? I'm gonna make you eat that. Alright, that's it. Jerk. 
that I have. Or should I say, go back to the hell which you came from? Ow! Yeah. Uh, where the hell do I go to from here? Don't tell me I'm friggin' trapped. Oh, it's over here. Okay, I can't go back. Shit. Okay. Come at me. I'm gonna save that for bosses. Alright, who is more worse more idiots that's willing to die? More flame orbs. Okay, like I said before about the the Phoenix Rod. That weapon is very, very powerful. But well, yeah, because it shoots it shoots Phoenixes. But it has very limited shots. Anything that shoots Phoenix Phoenixes is pretty fucking cool. And that's like, yeah, like just I'm just gonna throw a fucking like the most you can do in real life is just grab a bird and light it on fire and throw it somewhere. Like that's the closest you can go. And I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's fucked up. Don't don't hurt birds. Birds are fuckers. Fuck the birds. Do not set them on fire. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, but it's uh, it's making me raise a couple of eyebrows. Well, it's me merely making me one. Uh, just basically make me wonder what the hell. I don't know. Is there a rant on about birds? Well, merely more so setting birds on fire. I said don't do that, that's a bad. Well, you said that after you were talking about it. I was being hypothetical. Birds are cool. I feel like birds, birds are cool. The hell did that do? Oh wait, what the hell? Now guys, I have no idea how many more weapons is in this game. All that I know is this quite a few. Something opened. Birds are so cool, I thought they were a type of Pokemon instead of flying for the longest time. And I had a friend and he would constantly um, ridicule me for that. Because every time I'd want to say flying type, I'd say bird type. And I still fucking do it, too. That's the worst part, is I still do it. I know. And I still fucking do it. So the purpose of that opening wall is what, exactly? Wait, what? Oh, right, you idiots are the same color, same color as the freaking walls in here. So any shadow versions, I won't be able to see them. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun and dandy. What the hell? Flaming skulls are cool and all, but really? Oh, there's a yellow door. Whoa! Dude, they need to make a fucking. I'm looking at Emgo's guy on our Attack on Titan Figma. Figma. They need to make like a big ass Titan one. Like it's the size of like fucking Metroplex or something, right? Like just a giant, fully posable Titan that's like the size of like Generation Metroplex. That's what they fucking need to do. I was just gonna say what character would they do, but I already know of one. I said Titan. Just the Titans from Attack on Titan. Any of them. Oh. I don't know if there's any that are specifically named. I'm just talking about the monsters they fight in. 
For some reason, so I. The has got the. Um... For some reason, I, I thought you were talking about Transformers. No, 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 no. no. Because all I heard was uh, Titan. Been posting those uh, uh, Attack on Titan figures, right? I said they need to make a giant okay. Titan the size of like Generations Metroplex. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, just a giant ass posable Titan to go with. That would be pretty cool, though. Then again, having a giant statue of what is essentially a naked man might raise my eyebrows, but. Eh. Well, there's nothing technically there's nothing technically there, so yeah. like would that race? Well, what if you got like the colossal one, the one without the one without the skin? Would that be like would that be better or worse? Because that might creep people out even more, honestly. That's not in your you field, got, like, dude. The weird fucking like stickless one. That's not in your field, dude. Well, you could probably pass it off to Halloween. If you really wanted to. Um, and by the way, no, I never, I've never watched Attack on Titan. I know, last. I can't watch. There's a lot of good animes I haven't watched. I honestly need to watch. I can watch AOT, but it doesn't interest me. To be honest, like I've heard like good and bad things about it. I heard it's a pretty decent show, but like don't get attached to any character. <laughs> like, I've heard about it. They, they they chew through side characters pretty fast. I've heard sometimes literally. So yeah, uh -oh. that is one thing I've heard about it. Um, eh, I want to check it out one day, but I'm not really, really it's not on my, like, high list. Honestly, on my, the main anime I want to watch now, there's just a couple cartoons I want to watch, like Transformers Prime and Young Justice. But as far as anime, the one that's, like, peaking me right now is Samurai Shampoo. Do you know and, what uh, I just realized? Just, what? Well, why are you talking about Titans? Okay. For, um... Okay, for Generations, we got Metroplex. Mm -hmm. For... Did we get a Titan class for Combiner Wars? Yes, there was. Uh Devastator in his combined mode, it was a Titan class. Okay. And um, Titan's Return had um, Port Max and Trypticon. And then Power of the Primes, we're going to get a um, uh, a Titan Predaking. And he's going to be like how Devastator was, where all the limbs are Voyager, and then the main torso will be like Leader. Are you shitting me? Okay, I'm not really. I know. I'm not really. Com I, I know I really. I know who you want. I know who you want. I know I really shouldn't be complaining, but this character really has not had a figure in a long time. Well, not really so much of yeah. an official one. Like the last like new mold they did for like uh, Fort for I'm uh, not Fort Max Omega was fucking um. The, uh, the Energon one. And like they've recolored that in the G1 Omega, but that's about the closest we've got. And here's the thing. Maybe if Animated oh had gotten another season, maybe we would have got one because he was a big part of Animated. Oh god. It's criminal. Like, I haven't even seen a third party anim animated Omega. I want an animated any new Omega Supreme would be great, honestly. And there's some pretty decent third parties out there. Uh, like, um... Someone just came out. Was it? Um... I forget who it was. Just, just put out a, um, put out one. Oh yeah, the third party masterpiece style one. Yeah, I forget who it was. Um... Wouldn't be French Project, would it? No, I don't think so. It, it, 
maybe fans. It might be fans' toys. Maybe it's. I don't know. I have to look it up. But um, no, like that. I think it was fans' I'm toys. I think you're it. right. I think you're right. Yeah. Like I'm all for G1 Omega, and he does need more love. But dude, I would murder someone for an animated Omega. Like that turns into the art and everything. That would be amazing. Holy shit. Because that are If you love Omega Supreme, watch it. Because, like, dude, they give him so much love in Season 3. Like, like you get... Oh my god. They fucking they do so much good shit with him in that series. Like, of the, like, more neglected old characters, he gets his time to shine. He, he really gets his time to shine. There's also an issue of the comic you might like, where he just wrecks all the Decepticons. Putting most of them out of commission for like, 20 issues or something. Holy crap. Like, he, he KO'd most of the Seekers. I think this run stood up that what the hell game. I think Starscream is literally. Maybe Starscream is great. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what happens, but he 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 definitely takes out um, most of the other shooters and some other I think there's some cassettes too. Like he takes out a bunch of cassettes. And just offlines them for a good chunk of the comic. Stupid door. Like, he had a couple episodes in G1, but they really never gave him much love until they animated. Like, so much love, he becomes a crucial plot element of, like, the second and third seasons. Like, he's super important. Like, he's as important as the Allspark by Whoa. the third season. Yeah, Omega gets a lot of love. Um, but I wish they would have gave him a toy. Like, <sighs> like he's like the one. I think he's the one main voiced character who never got a toy. Receptor never got one. I don't know if they did one for Animated Magnus. But everyone else, I think, got a toy. How the hell do I get that key? But he never got one, and it sucks. Because, hmm. like, not That's only was door. he a character, but it would have put out another Omega Spring toy. Uh. I don't want to cheat. Part another because honestly, other than Scorponok, I can't think of any other Titan classes I'd want. Just Omega and Scorponok are the only two left, honestly. I mean, you can read Deco. I mean, there's. Well, actually, no, that's a thing. There is a Japanese Redeco of Fort Max to make him into the RID Fort Max. Um, only in Japan, but it's still cool they did it. Um. I can't think of any other Titans. I mean, maybe Unicron and Primus, but I think they're just going to use the Armada and Cybertron mold for the end of time. <laughs> like, the Primus, like the Cybertron Primus mold and the Armada Unicron mold, I don't know if we're ever going to see another version of those characters in Toy Farm, because. Definitely missing something here. Hmm. Wait a minute.
Please tell me that was the platform for the friggin' key. Yes, it was. Good. Like, the Unicron fucking toy got redecoed for, like, every Unicron trilogy series, and they did a G1 version. Good. Now, the Primus toy, they just turned it into a fucking... They dusted off that mold for the fucking last night on Which is weird, but they did it. Um... Yeah, who else would be a good Titan? Oh, dude. Huh? Maybe Ultima Optimus would be a good. Well, we're about to get a leader one. But a Titan would be cool. Hmm. Thing is, would that be too big? I mean, it'd be you know, cool, like, but would it be too big? Unfortunately. You know what? Because honestly, if you think about it. Huh? Canonically, because like all of the Beast Wars Transformers are way smaller than the original Transformers. Huh? Obstacle's about still like maybe half the size of like a regular Transformer, or about the size of the regular Transformer. Huh? Um, yeah, you're right on that, unfortunately. But Holy again, crap. we're getting a leap. He is going to be in wave 3. We haven't seen him yet, but he is going to be in wave 3. So that's I, can't, I can't wait for that. I'm really curious to see how they're going to do it. Like with the evolution gimmick, with Primal turning into him, I'm really curious to see how that's going to work out. Uh, I don't think about the Titan figures. Oh my god, would you die? Okay, let's see. Oh shit. Lava card floor, are you kidding me? I think we got Obominus. I just did it again. Yep. I just fucking did it. Abominus coming. We got Titan Predaking. I think that's about it as, cute, as far as G1 Combiner, unless you've got some like, obscure like, headmasters or victory combiners out. Thanks, Abominus. Oh, dude, what if they do the Seacons in this series? That'd be neat. Hmm. If they uh, did the Seacons. Alright, we're almost done here. Oh, God. That's the only oh, other established. Okay, we need to go down here. Go down this way. Okay, head off over here. Yeah, like, other than the planet bots, after you do Scorpionok and Omega, I can't think of another, like, height. <clears throat> Me neither. The only reason I want Scorpionok so bad is just we have four Coming! Oh, we just have to try to claw out my face. Dude, my face is hideous, hideous enough as it is. It doesn't exactly be mauled by a freaking demon. Can you stop crouching on me? Oh my god! The hell. I hate those freaking things. Ah. Alright. Alright, so guys, that's gonna have to do for this time. We got the Labyrinth and the Great Hall finished. Next time we're heading on to the last area, area in this map, the Portals of Chaos. So guys, Necromancer, the like button if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Later guys. One, one cool thing I always found about this game, 
how the map area actually like pops up in 3D. If that's not ominous music, I don't know what is. Good lord.